In this video, you're going to learn exactly how to use templates within CapCut. Now this is gonna come in handy if you're somebody that feels like they don't have enough time to really edit the videos exactly how they need to, or if you simply just wanna speed up the process of making a video. Templates, specifically within CapCut, are going to help you with both. Now there are two ways to actually get to templates within CapCut. One, you can go within the CapCut app and search templates or go to the templates tab. The other is through TikTok. Say you see a template that you specifically like on TikTok, you can actually go directly to the template from there. And these are processes that work for both Android and iPhone. Now the first method I'm gonna show you is getting to the templates and using these templates through TikTok. And this process is very simple. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your TikTok app. Now this is something where you open it, it's gonna take you straight to your FYP, and you start scrolling, doing exactly what you would normally do while you're on TikTok. But let's say you come across a template that you know is on CapCut. The way you know that this is a CapCut template is if you look at the video, right above where the person's username is, you will see this CapCut symbol and basically the name of whatever that template is. That is how you know that this specific video is using a CapCut template. Now, if you really like this video and you wanna use this template for yourself, all you have to do is tap on that CapCut symbol and it's going to take you to this page that is still within TikTok. And if you decide that you really wanna follow through and use the actual template, you're just gonna tap use template in CapCut. So if we tap on that, it's going to take you to your CapCut app and it's going to open the template for you. And from here, you can either save the template, which is in the bottom left corner, or you can type on use template if you want to use it right now. So let's just say I wanna use this template. I'm going to tap on use template and you can see that everything that's needed for this template is already down here within CapCut. Now if we look at the bottom of this screen, all of these boxes that are numbered one through, this template has 20 different boxes, all of these can be different photos, videos, whatever you wanna use for the template. Now if we look, this first one is highlighted and that means that whatever I select from my camera roll, that is going to be the first thing that pops up on this template. So I can select whatever video that I want, I can replace it with a photo if I want, but once you select one, you see that if you look at the bottom, the next square is highlighted. And then you're gonna add however many that you need to add however many videos or photos that you need to add and that is going to fill up the template once that template is filled up then you're going to be able to tap next so let me fill this up really quick and tap on next to show you the next process now that i have my template filled up i could tap next but something that i do want to go over very quickly is in some templates you're going to see that if we look at the bottom under some of these squares you see that there are specific colored dots that means that if one box has a certain colored dot and another box has the same colored dot, that means that the same image slash video is going to be placed in both of those slots. So if we look that these two red ones, these look like the same photo, and then the next one does look like the same photo again, and again with all the red ones that appear within this template. That means same photo added for each of those slots within the template. And again, now that I have this entire template filled up, the next thing I wanna do is tap on this bottom right corner, tap on next, and then it's going to take me directly to the template. And when I'm ready, I can just press play and see how it's going to appear. And as you can see, Whatever this template was, it's doing it exactly how it's supposed to. It's working exactly how it's supposed to. It's 19 seconds long and it did everything that it was supposed to do. Now, if you wanted to edit this template, it's very simple as well. If you wanted to change a specific image or video that you have in a certain slot, maybe I just wanna change this first one, I wanna change that. I can tap on it and then you see, I can either crop it, meaning that if I have a video, I can move it further along this timeline to get the specific spot of the video that I want for this clip. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to tap on the check mark. Or if I wanted to replace it completely, I can tap on replace in the bottom left. Now, if I wanted to 
say I wanted to add text to this actual template when I wanted to add more to it I will tap on text I can add text and I can enter text whatever I want enter text press on the check mark and then I can adjust it however I want and then it's going to be there I can edit this text however I want color font align text presets there are no text presets for this but it's fine then press on the check mark. I can set the duration for this because if I leave it how it is right now, it's going to appear in the entire video. But let's say I only wanted it for the first few seconds. There, I'll put it for the first few seconds. If I play the template again from the beginning, you'll see that this enter text only appears for those first few seconds. Now again, if I wanted to change anything about the actual images that I'm using in this template, all you have to do is find the images that you may want to change you tap on them it's very easy to edit all you have to do is press replace you press on replace your camera roll will pop up and then you can change that image from there but because i'm okay with how all this turned out my next step is to press add sound in tiktok so I, if i press on add sound in tiktok it's going to take me back to tiktok but it's going to upload this template that i just used so if i tap on add sound in tiktok you see that it's exporting this video right now to my phone and to TikTok. And as you can see, the template that I just created within CapCut has now been transferred over to TikTok and is ready for me to upload to my page for everyone else to see. Now, if I wanted to go from here, I would upload it exactly how I would upload a regular video within TikTok. And that is how you're going to be able to use templates when it comes to finding them on TikTok. Now, let's say you're scrolling TikTok, but you don't see any templates that you really want to use. You don't come across any templates that you want to use. You want to make a specific video, but you don't see any templates on TikTok that, you know, catch your eye. That's fine. You can come within CapCut to actually find specific types of templates that you can use for whatever idea that you have. Now to do this, we are going to come within our CapCut app. If we come to the bottom, you see that there's a tab for templates. So if we tap on templates, you see that we have a bunch of different templates that automatically show up as the For You page. Now if we scroll along, we see that we have For You Premium. If we type on Premium, these are premium templates. If we go to, let's say, graduation, this is a specific theme, smart templates, lifestyle, TikTok. These are all specific categories for templates that are being used. Now, let's say you're looking at this, you don't like any of them. You have a specific idea of a type of template that you want to use. So let's say you want to use a specific uh, holiday one. So let's say Halloween. We type in Halloween in the search bar and we wait for the Halloween templates to show up. And all of these are going to be Halloween templates that we can use for our next video. Now, if you have, let's say, now let's say you're running a business and you want a specific business type of Halloween uh, template to use, you can tap on the business tab right here underneath the search bar. You tap on business because you already searched for Halloween. This is going to be business Halloween. And if we scroll along, these are all business type of Halloween templates that you can use for your videos. And the way we're going to use these templates is going to be the same exact way as it was when we found a template on TikTok and came to CapCut to actually use that template that we found on TikTok. So we just select a specific uh, template that we want to use. We press on use template. We fill up each of these little squares that are at the bottom. We press on next. And as you can see, if we press on play, the template plays through with the images slash videos that we added to the template itself. And again, when it comes to editing this, you edit it the same exact way. You select a, a square that you might not want there. You can change it around. If you want to add text, you can just tap on text, add the text to the screen. It's very simple to use templates once you find one that you actually want to use. And because you came directly to CapCut to actually use this template, all you have to do is press export. And that's going to be a little bit different than when you came straight from TikTok because you're not going to go straight to the TikTok app. It's going to ask you if you want to export it 
You can save and share to your TikTok ad manager without the CapCut watermark. You can save and share directly to TikTok if you wanted to, or you can save it directly to your device. So again, if you wanted to go straight back to TikTok after you find something directly in CapCut, you just press the second option. If you're not ready to add it to TikTok, you can just save it directly to your device. That's fine, it's going to be in your camera roll once it's exported. There's not gonna be any issues from there. And that's how you're gonna be able to directly find templates within CapCut and use them within CapCut. So there you have it. That's how you're gonna be able to find specific templates for CapCut and use those specific templates within CapCut. As you can see, the process of actually using the template is very simple. All you have to do is add stuff that you would already have within your phone because the template basically does the editing for you. It just, it's a plug and play type of method that is very simple to use. Again, if you're somebody that does not have time to really edit exactly how you see certain templates, or if you're somebody that just wants to speed up the entire editing process with the stuff that you already have within your phone, using templates is the best way to go because there are templates for everything out there. You're going to be able to find a specific template that you are going to want to use. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. If this was a video that you enjoyed, if this was a video that you liked, be sure to hit that subscribe button and you know, leave a comment. Leave, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to leave them in the comments below. But other than that, my name's Steven. I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Peace.